I'm going to do a quick explanation on how to make your life easier when you're having to quarter uphill and your trees have limb weight downhill because that's where they get the sun and some of them can be kind of tipped back. So you can see the lay of these trees They're quartered up. That side hill quartered up. This is how I make my life easier without having to bang wedges. So you can see where my face is, where the trees are aimed. My initial cut is where it wants to go side hill. Snip this corner off first. That's my first cut. And I chase in the back to get this nice triangle. This is about two inches up here. I got about three inches off the bottom so it can kind of set down on that side. As the tree initially wants to go that way, it hits the plate right here. You can see where the fiber's smashed. And then it kind of rolls off and falls in the lay. That is the benefit and how a Dutchman works. Got every single one of those trees pointed up here and I didn't have to bang a single one. Well, okay, that one I did, but the rest of them I didn't. Just Dutchman and away they go. You use gravity and physics in your favor. If the tree was down this way, I'd put my face over there. It's set that way. And as this fiber is snipped off and I pull this backside in, when you manipulate this backside over, that's where your tree starts to turn because you're aiming your hinge wood in the direction that gravity wants to take it. So then it mashes into that plate but you still got all this holding fiber, so it is forced to pull the tree around. If you leave your hinge all the way out, it won't do it very well. You have to pull it in a little bit. It can if it's real thin, but it's better to suck it in a little bit. But don't get your tip pinched under there, because then you're in trouble. There it be. All right, I've got a massive Dutchman plate on this. That's about six inches. Face is aimed that direction. See there. The tree itself is out this way and it's back. That way a little bit. Quite a bit. So, got my face, my initial dustman cut aimed down there. So since it's got belly weight, it's going to want to go that way. Even though it's leaned back this way. I will not have to wedge this. You see it set over on that side? Plate engages. Clean it up. All right, here's a stump. Big Dutchman plate. My initial cut goes this way, which is down there. My face is directly in line with the tree fall. I cut this bottom part off first to get it to set, and it will tip back. And I chase the top side around, and that gets it to angle down towards its natural lean. Then it hits this plate real hard once it starts to go, and it bends it uphill in the way. There's your Dutchman.